what's up people it's oji right here and it's good to have you all right so as you know tinubu missed attending the conference of nigerian bar association which was organized in his state of residence lagos state so but um let me say i don't know if it if this is a good news to him but to us it, it is a good news because he gets another chance to speak alongside atiku peter obi and other presidential candidate so a polo tournament which was organized by mr ahmed wadada will hold coming september at kefi nasarawa state and they have invited all the presidential candidates vying for the presidential seat into this tournament and they said that the event is aimed as, at fostering understanding among the presidential candidates so this time around we hope tinubu will be there because honestly we are all looking forward to hear what tinubu will say to us we are all looking forward to hear what he has in mind his plans for nigeria and nigerian youth that is what we are just hoping to hear let's just hope that this event coming up will allow bola Ahmed tinubu to redeem himself after receiving a lot of criticism for missing out on the nba conference so <laughs> you guys you know that tinubu was represented by his running mate senator tashim shetima who spoke on behalf of tinubu saying that they are both team that they will that they will uh, their their regime will replicate the success of lagos across the federation but however we the nigerian people we the nigerian youth would like to hear from the horse's mouth yes we want to hear from you tinubu we want to hear what are your plans you can't hide forever you can't keep away forever if you're going to lead us we need to know what your plans are this is democracy we get to say our minds we get to choose our leaders you can't keep in the hiding and expect us to come and vote for you no we have to hear what you will offer to us yes this is democracy and that's how it works if we call you you have to answer as a leader you are also a servant though i don't know if his absence has anything to do with his health but if it has anything to do with health we wish him a quick recovery but come to think of it if you're going through health challenges why coming out and vying for a presidential seat i don't think it's wise if you are going through some health issues i think you should leave that seat for the ones that are capable of handling it someone like peter obi i don't see any reason why you shouldn't leave the seat for him i mean look at us look at you look at your age and you're still coming to vie for this presidency it is not about tone like you said the other time that it is your tone no it is not about your tone nigeria is no one's property nigeria belongs to all of us we get to choose who stays there it's not about whose tone it is or whatever at this point that's not what nigeria is about at this point we are looking for who will transform nigeria and bring it out of the messed up situation that it is in yeah we are not using nigerians presidency to compensate anyone no it is nigeria is not a gift to anyone this is our nigeria we choose we make the decisions yeah we're going to choose our leaders all right so like i was saying if it has to do with his health we wish him quick recovery but let's hope that he will come up in this upcoming event and tell us his plans for nigeria and for nigerian youths because right now we are desperately in need of a savior so let's know if tunubu is our savior or if it's someone else all right guys so this is how i'll be wrapping it up remember to like subscribe share and then see you in the next video bye